We have a very musical family. No one did it professionally. Recently, sort of going back into the family history a bit, and Dad was saying his mother was very keen to be on stage, but back then it was not a place your daughter went, you know. So she was a frustrated actress, singer, had a love of music and performed in amateur theatricals. And Mum was English, he met her in England, so she'd sing at the drop of a hat, you know. And we always had a lot of music in the house. The confluences that went into what my music became were really broad. My background was living and working on the land. I've just realised I've added the ultimate cliche, but that was why that whole lifestyle led to a type of music that's storytelling and fairly basic in its musical structure. Uh, look, key influences, most of the lyricists, a uh, huge Joni Mitchell fan, big John Mellencamp fan, Paul Kelly. In the last 10 or 15 years, it's been that love of language and trying to get complex ideas across in as few words as possible. I work with a lot of young artists and they always want to know whether they should write music or lyrics first. And I said, you'll eventually wind up in one of two camps. You either write the story or you write the music, and then you either put the words to the music or you put the music to the words. Getting inducted into the Hall of Fame is, is very much like a standstill moment because no matter how objective you remain about being the artist in a crew, being inducted into a Hall of, any, of Fame in any industry is something that you always think about happening to your parents' generation or someone who's 76 years of age and has done something remarkable. And to be told by and large what you've done has left something behind that people think is worthwhile, it actually feels really good. <laughs>